Hello! In this video, we are going to prove that for all integers n greater than or equal to 5, 2 to the n is greater than n squared. Okay, so to prove this, we are going to use mathematical induction. More specifically, we'll use mathematical induction on n. Okay, so let's start with the base case. So in the base case, all we're doing is we're verifying that this inequality holds in the case where n is equal to 5. Okay, but of course this inequality is true if n is equal to 5, right? We can all agree that 2 to the power of 5 is greater than 5 squared. And so this proves the base case. Now we're going to move on to the induction step. So in the induction step, if you recall, we're picking out an arbitrary integer n greater than or equal to 5. And we're assuming for this arbitrary integer n that we picked out that 2 to the n is greater than n squared. And now our whole goal is to prove that this inequality is also true for n plus 1. That is, we're trying to prove that 2 to the n plus 1 is greater than n plus 1 squared. And it turns out it's going to be useful if we expand this parentheses out. If you expand this out, you get n squared plus 2n plus 1. So really, we're going to show that 2 to the n plus 1 is greater than n squared plus 2n plus 1. Now, first of all, 2 to the n plus 1 is just 2 times 2 to the n. And notice, we have a 2 to the n. So it's probably a good time that we use our induction hypothesis, right? Let's apply the fact that 2 to the n is greater than n squared to what we have here. Now, we can take this inequality and multiply 2 on both sides. And we see that 2 times 2 to the n is greater than 2n squared. So now we can go back to our proof and we can write that 2 times 2 to the n is bigger than 2n squared. And so this is what we have now. Now, as I said before, it's going to be useful that we have n squared plus 2n plus 1. What we're going to try and do is we're going to try and bring n squared plus 2n plus 1 into our proof. And to do that, we can first rewrite 2n squared as n squared plus n squared. So this first n squared that we have represents the n squared in n squared plus 2n plus 1. Now let's try to bring the 2n into the picture. The way we can do that is we can use the fact that n is greater than or equal to 5. So let's take this inequality and multiply n on both sides. We get that n squared is greater than or equal to 5n. And next, because we have n squared plus n squared right here, I'm actually going to take this inequality and add n squared on both sides. We get n squared plus n squared is greater than or equal to n squared plus 5n. So going back to our proof, we can write n squared plus n squared is greater than or equal to n squared plus 5n. So just like that. And to bring the 2n into the picture, let's just rewrite 5n as 2n plus 3n. So now we have n squared plus 2n, n squared plus 2n. All that's left is to bring the 1 into the picture. Well, let's manipulate this 3n in some sort of way. Let's again use the fact that n is greater than or equal to 5 to do that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 3 on both sides of this inequality. We get 3n is greater than or equal to 15, which is greater than 1. So really, 3n is greater than 1. And notice, because I have n squared plus 2n plus 3n, I'm going to take this inequality and add n squared plus 2n on both sides. I get n squared plus 2n plus 3n is greater than n squared plus 2n plus 1. So really, in my proof, I can take n squared plus 2n plus 3n and I can say that it is greater than n squared plus 2n plus 1. And so I have brought n squared plus 2n plus 1 into my proof. 
I know that n squared plus 2n plus 1 is equal to n plus 1 squared. And so we have successfully shown through this chain of equalities and inequalities that 2 to the power of n plus 1 is in fact greater than n plus 1 squared. And so this is exactly what we wanted to prove. So yeah, this completes the proof of the induction step. And so because we have proven the base case and the induction step, this amounts to having proven that this inequality is true for all integers n greater than or equal to 5. And so this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much the idea of how you could prove a theorem like this. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.